Okay, we should be live or close to it. Um, I'm trying out the latency setting to see if we can make it a little better. Here. So let's see, let me move camera like that. How does it take? Oh, that's not bad at all. And I think it's doing just fine. Um, ignore the crazy motion. Uh -huh. Because there's no one watching but me, but okay. Yeah, that should be fun. Hopefully. That's excellent connection. Right now. But we'll do the boring stuff while people are not here. Hello, someone is here. I turned down the the stream latency option thing on Bob, so we'll try that out. Hopefully that helps. We shall. Try that out. It's gonna be boring at first. We gotta get these at least this switch in and then the other switch. And then I wanna try and make a yard soon before we end, or start a yard at least. I have an idea for the yard. Um parent is where to this. I don't want this to be. Part of, actually maybe I do want it part of the switch. Yeah, we'll figure it out in a bit. Well, I don't know if I'll be streaming tomorrow, but hello. You can always watch this later on. Well, yeah, we gotta make an expansion since we just started the game, so, you know. And there's no point in having a train game if there's no map. So that's, like, the first thing you gotta do. Alright, um, uh, let's say, let's say, let's say. Um, let's make this switch. All right, so then um, we want let's ungroup this because of how we're doing things. We're gonna make that a model, and then that a model. There, and like that, and that. And we'll just end. Uh, we'll do like this, and then just bring this in. We'll change our building style a bit here. Oh wow! Yoink! I know the start of the stream is going to be pretty boring. For this, I'm pretty sure it's going to be because we're you're going to be making this crossover and then another crossover and then hopefully we'll get into the new stuff because this is just. Wait, was that the piece that I wanted? Yeah, that's the piece I want to get rid of. All right. Actually, what we can do is move this to workspace and get rid of that piece. And then this can be our... Alright, let's try that QMCDL thing. Is that better? No, no, no. I don't want to do that actually to the track. Unless I have to. Let's avoid that. the downfall with mesh ties is that you get the not so good bit there my roblox name my are you talking? oh yeah my roblox username is failing this game it's right here in the corner but on i don't know if you're on mobile i doubt you can see it And then we need another one of these. Oh, right. And let's uh, let's move this real quick out of the way. 
Like, otherwise you can do. This will be our switch bit. Oh wait. Yeah, this will be the switch bit, right? That. There, and we have the switch, and we just need to make this bit longer. Let's make this one 60, so it's easy to make even here. 160 and then this should just be 160 yeah there oh yeah so then if we move this up we have our switch yes on why is that all uh dark though uh, what oh it's because they're um Let's go like that. There. And we'll just take this and bam. 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 That works. Yeah, we'll work on the switch from up here. That'll make it a little bit easier. These tracks are buggy on your end? Well, I doubt that because these are my own tracks. And they've never been used before, so, you know. Uh... Okay. Get these rails properly made. This is most definitely the thing that I'm not looking forward to doing. Because that's angled, right? Yes. Is all of these uh, custom switches and stuff? I'm not gonna be fine. All right, that should be fine. And then oh, right there, we can make all of this non-union because I don't need it anymore not union unmodel there that will help with that because then I need a normal point oh man this point's gonna be so long oh my goodness Call it all these things reverse. Reverse, 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 and reverse. Reverse. Yeah, there's probably tracks that look like this, but technically, this is custom track. I don't know if I'm going to make the trucks move on the trains because that's. A lot more uh, lag or whatever. But can I do that? Yeah, most definitely. Well, I don't know. But I'm not worried about that right now. Because we've got a whole game to make from scratch. Including including the drive system of the trains. We don't have any of that. The glass stream, if you were on there, you saw. We, we made the switch scripts and the diamond script. So. Got lots of things to do. And not much time. Up there then? I guess. Put a normal oh this is gonna be huge. Normal Yeah. We're gonna go into like there, I think. So then 
if we do it like we did last time. Oops. There ain't no way it's like that. Is it really? It is. Holy moly. Let's let's get a different spot. That's so long. Uh, none of the above. Well, it's whatever you want it to be. This isn't. This is all just freelance, and then you can make it whatever you want it to be when you play. Stop texting me. It's so hard. Holy moly. Alright, we're just gonna do it at a different distance. Like a two? It's so big, it doesn't need to be that big. That will help. That might be all right. At least definitely, this definitely isn't going to be the uh, definitely isn't going to be the most beautiful game ever. But I'm not making a beautiful game. I'm making a functional game. All right. And then reverse point, reverse point, reverse point. Is there any other ones? Yes. Not doing the frogs because that this already takes ooh, so much time. All right, and then we need the switch strip that we made yesterday. Into which theoretically I could just duplicate it on the other end and line it up. I might try that just to make it go faster. Let's make sure that the switch works though. Um, oh, we also need. Oh, right, we have to do this on switch. Sweet. Constantly down this went that way. So it should reverse. No, it did not reverse. Went. What's it called? It's called switch state, yeah? Switch state. Yeah. Why didn't you do anything? Oh, is it because I need to. Yeah, that's why. Then I can't edit this. Okay. We animate later because the thing is that I can just if they're all using the same script I can just edit the script or replace it later mass replace it and then it'll be fine um let's see what happens when I mirror this plugins reflect fun tool fun toy this is oh wait I didn't want to do that I wanted to do um oh I didn't want to reflect this I just need to copy it yeah, because these switches should be the exact same thing. It's just that there's the middle bit. I will move you up in the air. Then I just gotta go 0, 5, and then line this up with everything. Right? Should I just connect this? Should. Oof, it's not great. No. I mean, it's just barely off. Is that going to be a problem? No. Oh, here. 0 0.005. Oh, no. 0 0.005. That's what I've been doing.
Yeah, now there's the gap, but it's fine because we can just go to zero. Damn. Damn. There. Perfecto. Not really perfecto, but in. Huh. I'll just connect these. That saves us a heck of a lot of time. How long is this piece? Uh, four, six, seven, five. Four, six, seven, five. Obviously, that is not long enough to connect. But it is on that side. That's whack. Are these not the same length? Oh, these aren't. do that yet we want to reflect both of these basically so I think I might model these for now and then and can I just reflect these wait I don't even need to do that I take this that's a model click this reflect and then like that <laughs> it should be all lined up and everything right yes perfect look at that now look at that we got crossovers and everything so we can ungroup these and then upgroup that and we got a crossover crossover shabam uh, let me catch up with the chat ah uh, i haven't done any sounds this game literally doesn't have um let me go offline on steam and it doesn't offline the notifications come on up um ah ooh this this game literally doesn't have any sound perms or sounds or anything but oh, does this not the downfall about not using pre-made track is that there's be more in for perfections but I mean in real life there's imperfections so it's like, this is just a learning project for the fun of it that's the right terminal but full scale bird using row scale models and assets well, that's fine because row scale scripts and stuff you just they just work. All right. All right. I say we should probably make sure that these trains can work on these switches real quick. Before we move on. Oh yeah, like this is a what? The? Oh, because this is it. Oh, that's too long. Interesting. Oh, uh, no. I wanted to click that. Thank you. Ay, ay, ay. Um. Wait, which one's which one's the one that's off? It's this one. Okay. That's what I thought. Just trying to make these sections as unique as possible before I go and make the whole game using whack pieces and every piece is adjusted in a different way. Okay, um, I'll just move this engine closer because that's easier than figuring out. Because I want the curve somewhat soon here. So. Well, I'm going to click run. 
which the trains are going to lag a bit because they're not there's the most basics so there's no code on them you just have a mover uh oh that did not go right that is no good that doesn't make any sense oh did the were the switches a different set oh wait hold on these not have an they do Throw the switch. There. Why did it derail? That's my question. Why did you derail? Let's watch and see where it derails. Well, the question is, does it derail at all going forward? Okay, that's fine. I think it's leaning a bit, but I can fix that with other stuff later on. That should take that switch, yeah. And for those coming into the stream and weren't on here last week, this is a placeholder building. This is just some free model. I have to move this road a bit, I think, because it's not like dead set. Eh, that's fine. It's not always dead set. Interesting. So why did it... Now we'll make these trains run into each other. By going like this. Why did you derail? Oh, okay, it's hitting something over here. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. What did you hit? Move you out of the way. Let's see where this guy hits. If he hits on the same side, then we know it's that switch that's messed up. That's weird. It took that just fine. Why does it mess up going this way? Is there a piece of track missing? A piece of track that's messed up? I mean, the gliders and these engines could be too big. I'm going to see what happens. Let me remove all these engines. You. You're my test subject now. And then you get to become... Um, you and... You. Later we'll have moving trucks. Probably on the locomotives, honestly, we'll have moving trucks. Uh, that, does that make a big difference? It's still probably too big. Let's make it 2.5. That's a big drop from what it was. Well, not really that big of a drop. Don't think it's too tight. Let's just do a 4 8. Try that. If it's too small, we'll make it bigger. I don't want to see it jump. That's a bit better. Still like leaning. We can fix that. A bit of knowledge. We're not worried about it right now. Alright. Okay, and then since we're expanding southward, because that's west, 
This is the northeast, southwest. We want the test train to come this way. Which, speaking of test train, I think it's a good idea. Actually, before we go too far, we should put this back where it was. Forward a bit. I'm gonna scale in an auto rack. I'm not exactly scaling things properly. I'm just eyeballing it. Okay, and all that stuff. We're bringing an auto rack because those are big. Oh my god, bro scale is so tiny. Well, we don't need SRI terminal. We to remove all the scripts. So we don't need any of that. Don't we can keep these in mesh. Don't need the couplers. Don't need these. Don't need the EOTs. I don't know. This is going to be an ops game, like driving game. It's just that I don't have a drive system coded yet. We haven't made that yet. So, we gotta sit and wait. Using the AI, quote unquote AI, which really isn't. There's no, there's literally no code written by me. It's just a mover without any logic. Everyone's like, AI games are so crazy advanced. But no, 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 they're not. This is definitely not going to be properly scaled. I'm just making it so the wheels fit on the track. That's all I'm doing. Oh, right. I have to remove the gliders, too, on this thing. A little bit more. Yeah, that should be enough. All right? Yeah, not close enough, whatever. And then we'll copy these gliders over. Oh wait, before I do that, I should make this the same. Well, right now the engine's kind of floating anyways. What the? Wait, what the? Okay. Alright, that will work. I'm gonna do that and then paste into an original. Do that. And then we need the gliders that are over here. Do that. Gotta make sure that this longer thing works. Alright, and then we wanna oh we need a weld script, which is definitely we replace later on. It's just free model, yay yay. But we're gonna go like this. More or less. Oh, here. That'll be easier to do. Let's get an attachment. Attachment. Temp. Hoopler. Temporary attachment. We're manually hooking up these attachments. <laughs> we hook these up. We know this thing is not centered at all because Roska, our Roska models are wonk. There we go. Let's fix that again. We'll worry about models later. You know, um, Rod, please. Did I add a rod or what? Oh, there it goes. It's just broke. Boy, I want to see the current distance. Here we go. 6.775. Let's do that. There we go. That's how far apart this rod's going to be. So now those things are connected. Um, let's back and then we can just make these a model. Our train model.
Uh, okay. Um, we're making a brand new game from scratch. It's full scale, not row scale. Using row scale models though. We got this little train here testing. I'm testing this curve here because I, I think it's big enough. Yep. Yeah. Um, since I think we have newer people here, I'll explain. We started this last night on the stream. Basically, what we're gonna do is make most of this project on live stream or whatever. Um, no long, no idea how long this live this uh, project will last. Uh, we got placeholder interlocking town. We got an interlocking, you know. Um, this game is going to be, you can make whatever railroad, rail line, whatever railroad you want, fictional, CSX, do whatever. Um, my idea for making the game though, is that this will probably be NS and then they have a siding here. It's also a junction. So you can either have trains in the holdout in the hole here, or they can go down onto the CSX and there'll be a big industry of some kind or a big, or something that both railroads service probably. So you have foreign trains on this line and then of course the live stream people in the chat and all that wanted rail fan parks we made a really big live and of course because just like hfi terminal you'll be able to drive around so like the hse cars be able to drive around all that fun stuff so that's what's going on here let me test these um, let's go ahead and test both of these switches This is, these are the ones that they were kind of giving me issues and I don't know why. Let's see, does it hop? That's like bouncing a bit. It's not, oh, it bounced real good. There. Not sure why it bounces like that. Ah, look at that bounce. I gotta figure out why it bounces. It's bouncing there again, too. I think I know why it's bouncing. I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Actually, we'll do this. Negative. I don't want this much, but like... That and then attachment is the base. Because Rosco models also have this, and I can also do a uh, um, angular. Um, hold on, a line orientation. I think is what I want. No. Uh, You know, I don't want to feel like I don't, at least some of these things are confusing. I don't want to look at it. The Jeep, uh, Tyler's doing things. It's not actually working on the Jeeps at the moment. They're more or less done, kind of, I think. Oh my, that definitely did not work the way I thought it would. Okay, let's try this. Increase it by two. Um, I'll get, I'll get to the yard in a second here. Um, Tyler working on M. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> That's a bit smoother. I'll figure it out. Right now the gliders, they don't have gliders or knees, so they can jump and derail and all that. I'm not gonna make Foss story right now. Also, uh, what do you suggest? Fully fixed? um it really depends if you make it based off something in real life then you'll have more structure and you'll know what to do um if, if fictionals are a little hard i'm kind of doing like a proto freelance so um, this was just i was like i want a diamond and then it was like we just combined different areas um like i know i'm playing run eight like coming into baldwin i don't know what direction i think you're coming southbound like baldwin's right here put it and there's a, a y here and they have like a siding that either goes into the yard or you cross back over onto the main. And I thought that was cool, so I threw that in here. I still have to code up the switch here, but um, 
I thought that was a cool idea, so I kind of did that. And we're going to make a Sharonville kind of thing. I think other, I bet you other yards do it too. But um, where um, one of these tracks, we're going to do a curve off, I think, this way. Maybe it'd be that way. I'm not sure yet. We're going to curve off and do some stuff. And then we're going to, um, and then the yard, one of the tracks will become the yard, a yard lead. And then the other track will be a bypass like the main line so this comes down to single main around the yard so it'll be like a little uh funnel nah like if it's in the yard it's got to go like 50 miles an hour but on the main it'll probably be like 30 miles an hour or something like that because that's what it's in sharonville and the yard's 50 restricted but but a fictional sub that goes to Tyler's been busy. He's back in school now, too. And both Tyler and I completely took breaks. I don't think we touch um, studio like at all during December. Um, this is an M. That's what he said, I think. It's an SD70 of some kind. And they, uh, um, if he ever joins stream again, he'll, he'll probably talk about what he wants to talk about. But uh, he has some ideas. We have to try it out. This is very experimental what's happening with this thing. But if it works... The engines will take even longer than they have, but you guys will like them, I think, a hell of a lot more. Not because they look better, but because of what you can do with them. It's going to be fun. I don't want to say anything until we have a working prototype, but it should be very fun. Um, meanwhile, we get to make team. I don't know. All right. So, like, you're at the rail fan park. There's going to be signals down here. I don't know if they'll be standing or cantilever or what. There'll be signals over here. Signals somewhere in here. And signals somewhere in here. It's like the rail fan park. You can come down and check the signals, get a photo with the signal here or whatever. Or stand here, see everything. Um, for that, you see. Well, the big thing is that this is a rail, a big scale game, so the view distance kind of sucks. But the question is, do I have trains curve like that? Do we want to see the trains curve in like this or curve in like this? First, I was thinking they're going to come from the the southeast, but maybe the southwest. Would this is directly north. I don't want to make it too foamy. Um, oh, and if anyone asks, these yellow lines here are, are scale miles. So, hey, we don't even, yeah, we don't even have a scale mile track yet. No, these switches won't be hand-operated. I haven't made the switch stands. At some point, I'll make the CTC switch machines and the uh, um, hand throws and the, yeah, so we'll go on. So these, everything so far is CTC. Ooh, so this bigger scale, I should add the hand throw lever on the CTC so that you can move it if you need it. That'd be fun. Uh, by making a GUI, that's how you make your signals controlled and then, you know, First you make the UI, and then you code it so that the button... So how mine work, if you look at the kit, it's just like that, but instead of the physical button on the wall, the button gives you a UI, which then does the controller. But you can see the switch underscore. What I do is I have like switch, and then like you put your mile post or whatever your location. You just give a keyword for this switch and this switch alone, and then you have a switch controller, like a UI, or like if you just have a, just a general UI, you can have each button represent one of these. So then you have like a switch control or a button that then is named the same thing and then you can have the same script for every single one work out which switch it's controlling or you can code each button individually but i mean it's one of those things where it's to in order to actually show you probably since you're asking that question i basically have to show you how to actually make one and show you which eventually we'll be doing but it's not right now. We got to make the map first because we we can't even run the trains yet. Um. Okay. Let's um. Let's get these to be. Let me take my scale mile. Let's do map. This. Is, if anyone's new to the stream and wasn't here yesterday, um, there's gonna be a lot of me just talking with you guys and talking about game development instead of actually game dev. We spent five hours. Everything you see here took five hours, except for the switches I just hooked up. So. 
We just, we just streamed for five hours and did almost nothing. Oh, that was that was terrible. Oh man, if I want that, I don't want that to be a mile. All right, half mile. Half mile from this crossing, maybe. Now half mile from this crossing. Now half mile from the diamond. We'll, we'll take the. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Oh, I can't make it any longer. Okay. Um. We'll just go until this piece right. Wait. This piece is longer than that one. We'll go into this piece. Can't go any longer. Because there's a limit on how big a part can be. And we're going to hit that. That mile is made out of three different parts. And two of them are at the part. The max size limit for parts. <laughs> it's so big. If anyone wants to know what scale we're using. We're using the official Roblox scaling units. So um, each stud is equal to 28 centimeters. So the gauge is like 5.125 or something like that. I can't remember exactly. It's five something. Might be easier to just copy this track over and shorten it. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna copy this piece of track over and shorten it to that. Even though technically for a radius it needs to be longer. But this will work, I think. No, zero point zero zero five. Well, one way to do this is to do it, uh, because this is like that. We can just go like that, and then... Oh, it's already there. Okay. That. <laughs> that works. Yoink. These should be the same. Length here. And which I'm going to take that grass. Oh, grass, grass, grass. And just. Oh, it's already the max size it can be. Basically, that's reassuring. All right, and then uh, so then 2048. Phase two. Okay. All right, um, we'll just go like this, I guess, roughly. Let me get another piece of grass down. Uh, 2048. Oh no, 2048. Not sure. It's going to be a mid-sized yard. Because it's probably going to be like the only yard for a while. Because I have to make all this tracks by scrap hand. So... I don't know. I haven't even started the next SRI update. So, a lot of my updates are made like the day of the duos. I had the motivation for this, so we're doing this. And that's how it works. Whatever we have motivation for is what we work on.
pretty sure this doesn't work the way I'm thinking it's going to work. I feel like the math is wrong. Yeah, because I know I have to extend it right. Um... How am I going to do this properly? I don't know the radius. Hold on. Let me look at the radius calculations again. Okay, hold on. Just so I know what it is, but I need, I want to visualize it looking on my other monitor. Not a straight up calculation. I didn't take that much math. At least if I did learn this, I forget. <laughs> oh wow, it even uses a train track as a reference. That's fun. Oh. <laughs> No, like, obvious math equation for this. Otherwise, I'm just gonna yell it. I'm not gonna sit here and try and figure out math. These are all just like relationships between it. Yeah, I don't have to like deal with it. All right, we're just going to yell at this. Wait a minute. Can I? If I do this and that and then that and then that. And I do this. I'm still new to this tool here. Okay. It that doesn't. It messes with the rails. That's not fun. If I go and select all of these. Okay. That's fine. We'll play with it. Or we could do this. Actually, hold on. Just keep the part count down. What we're gonna do is make the segment a uh, keep the curve wide, but also uh, I won't do much of a degree curved way a lot. So one thirty-five. It's a really wide curve. Oh my god. Did I want it to curve that way? Sure. Oh, I'm not going to do bank curves. Screw that. It's too much effort. Oh. Um.
so what I need, I don't need this at all. What I can do is keep it the same uh, radius. But um, what we're going to do is like this. Sure, why not? Go like that. We line these up. Best we can. There. My god, that curves me out of so many pieces. This curve so it's easy to come back to this because then we need another one what we're gonna do is come out come in shoot I need to remember the distance between the uh... here let's do this I need a marker I need a note of how far this is supposed to be. Although this was just eyeballed, unfortunately. I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. Oh, okay. Well, that's next there. Um... Fifteen foot one six five. See if that works. Fifteen that one. Oh no, one. Fifteen that one six five. If I use it more and more, I'll remember it. that line up or does this need to be adjusted in the scale nope it worked cool I love his head 0 point no 15.165 technically then I just push it forward right no 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 no, no. that's definitely not what do we do ah Come here, come over here. And then you, my good friend, gets to come to, uh, you want the purple, okay. Oh no. Uh, is it back? I think we're back. Yeah, reconnect, okay. Interesting. Can I make sounds for the Switch tracks? Like I said earlier when you last asked if there was diamond sounds for it. I don't have them yet. We haven't made them yet. But can I? Yeah. Or I guess you could be asking someone else in chat, but I don't know who you're talking to. So, you know. Zero 0.05. Oh, wait a minute. We can go like this. No, we can't. Never mind. No, no, no. I don't like how that's not lining up. 0 0.05. Oh, no. Probably as close as that's going to get. Okay.
Um, what we're gonna do is scale that in, scale this in, scale this in. Right at fifteen point one six one one six five. No, not the rail. The track. The track. That. And zero point zero five. Now we can scale this in. Ah, why are these selection boxes so big? Hold on. Studio City. Okay, I have to restart studio, change it. All right, whatever. No one's gonna notice if it's that much of an issue. Uh, come on. I don't know what's up with the selection box. There we go. Now we have two curves. The straight track. Let's go and uh, get ourselves a nice and lovely train ride. Get ourselves a nice, lovely train ride through town. Come on, get on, get on, no! Get on, get on, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, Come on, get on the train! Ah, what? Spot on top of it. Alright, train ride, here we go. I wonder if turning the elasticity down with the rails and stuff would help. I bet you. Dang, full scale, everything's glitching in and out. That's the downfall of full scale. You can't see very far. But also it helps with your render. Honestly, making like half scale might be a good spot. Because row scale is so small. Uh oh! I forgot! I forgot to slip the switches back! Oh no! <laughs> Oops. Try that again. That's indestructible. Well, come on, go, go. Oh damn. Roblox physics, play. I definitely need to make it so the trains don't bounce on me. Yeah, no spectacle. You have been robbed. You were teased.
Oh my god, it's a me. Oh my goodness. Wow. I damn your headlights. But it's a crossing, so you would, you know. Ignore those little lag spikes like that. It's because it's running on the server. The train moment. Physics. What? Having a moment. Yeah, look at that just rendering everything out. That's crazy. Definitely help if I make the network ownership change. But we worry about that later. Oh, I forgot to fill in the gap in the rail. <laughs> yeah, this is a dash too. It's the one in SRI terminal, so you know. It's the exact one. Both of these things are in SRI terminal, just scaled up. Yeah. Exact same. Exact same. It's literally the exact same. I went into SRI terminal and hit copy. No, I didn't go to SRI terminal. I went into the place we put it into SRI. The outer rack is from SRI terminal. I hit copy, paste. See, I have the studio up right here. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, that looks good. I think we can make it a control point. Sixty-three ninety-four. What the heck is CSX sixty-four? The probably no. Sixty-three ninety-four. Oh, you're talking about the Dom saying that the first. Wait, no. No, wait, no. That's an old photo. That's RF and P. Wait, no, that is the thing that the guy, wait, right? Yeah, that's the thing that the person's bay painted. The dumb thing. No, why would I do that? Oh, well, it's because I added 6914, but Chessie's better. And it's easier because we already had Chessie logos. I don't have markings for that. Oh, look, that one's got some consolidated. Oh, huh. that's a nice photo. Kyle Uniker. All right, back to doing reasonable things. Um, what was I doing? Yarn, I think. What was I going to... Oh, rail elasticity, though. Do I have a... Uh, did I ever... No. Uh, I never did anything. Oh, it's kind of like this. Rail. Oh, that's going to lag. Let's do this. We have all those curves. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's only in a thousand. That's not terrible. Try that. That should make it not bounce as much. Fat, now they just don't work at all. That's great. Aren't you moving? What? What happened? Uh, 
All right, back to what it was before. Does this move now? No. I've done something. And I don't know what I did. That's not good. If package cars are ever made, then yeah, but when no one's made them, so. I don't know. I'm not a modeler. This is. So, I don't. I'm definitely not gonna try my hand at a train. That's for sure. I mean, just look at the uh, the new flared thing of a box. Those are ugly AF, aren't they? Yeah, it's because I touched. I collapse all. So why aren't you moving anymore? I really the lighter Why aren't you moving? Does it stop if I lower it back down? Both of them run now. Did I fix them? I don't know why they. I'm not sure exactly why they stopped. There's something to do with the physics, I think. Roblox and friction and stuff is very annoying. There, through the switch. Okay. 
Just trying to make sure that the trains, you know, run properly before we go make it a crazy game and realize we're doing something wrong. Okay. Um. Let's see. The question is, how do we want to do this? Do we want another control point, then the yard? Because I'm going to do it how it is in... If we put the yard as the next thing, this will be very congested, but then... That might be fine. You know, I think we should do another control point, then the yard, which the yard will have a block signal as the mainline control thing, like Sharonville. That's what we're going to do. Oh, I was also thinking of doing a Walt in Kentucky. Wasn't it? But that's for later. Um... Oh man, he hit a tree? Jesus. Sorry, uh, let me go back to the reference. My to do list. Yeah. Because that was cool. I knew I knew it was cool, but I saw a video and I was like, oh, right, that exists. Yeah, curve just south of Diamond Crossovers. Right over to Yard, somewhere south of that, and Yard is like Sharonville's single main slash bypass. Okay. So this will, so then we can kind of have like a 244 kind of thing, I think. So we probably should have it be at least a mile from it. Uh, which will be interesting. Maybe like three of these these plates away. You know, to make the yard really easy, I'll probably curve it again the other way. That's what we're going to do. Is this that they're not at max, but they're mostly at their max. Um, yeah, this will work. I have an experiment. I've never. I don't. I don't really make full scale games here. Like this. Is this at its max? No, neither of them are. They have some room to breathe. Okay. Ah, nope. as far away as possible um, so i used to working with row scale though where it's like every little nick counts like distance piece counts so it's a little a little interesting to get used to here i also hate that this is you know what i'm gonna go ahead and reload studio real quick that's probably uh the studio is so small oh wow it's taking a second to publish now probably because of all the parts It's really taking a second to come on. Roblox is Roblox down. Hmm.
having issues. I see that connection issues. Uh -oh. At least it created an autosave. Changes may be delayed. Check your internet connection to avoid delays during saves and count out. Yeah.
Oh no, my mic is off. Oh no. No wonder no one was saying anything when I was asking for help. Okay. Oh well. It's already. Uh, the thing I was asking opinions about has already been added, so. Oh well. Okay, I'll try and find something else that we can discuss to work on together. Since that did not go as planned. Can I turn my mic back on? Well, I've been sitting here talking to myself for the past like 20 minutes probably or however long Oops. well okay so I don't remember when my mic was turned off, but basically what I'm doing is I'm adding a uh, kind of like a bypass to the yard without being a bypass. Basically, the idea is a train can come from the south here, like a, a through freight train that's working, can come up this yard track. And then work the north end like do drop offs and pickups and stuff while a local can be switching out the south end here assuming that the mainline train fits all the way up there but it should i can always drag this down i might drag this down that that's not much yard lead is it no let's drag this Wait, no, let's try let's track all of this a bit that should give us some room and then this is going to be an mow uh, like set off track later or just storage or whatever it's just gonna be a stub end i think so park engines park whatever you feel like it wait a minute this is a 10 foot Ten stud gap, isn't it? Yes. Ah, oop. Still haven't made touch. This is our yard bypass thing on this one end. If you're a southbound, then you're gonna foul up the track. No matter what. Actually, what you do is you come in the main track, and then you're still gonna foul it. But whatever. Well, yeah, the local would be on this. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, you'd be fouling it no matter what. Okay. Whatever. It's called yard moment. You gotta change how you run the yard depending on what's going on in the yard. A little bit of lopsidedness. There. Then we gotta have that come in. We gotta have it curve in and then man connect there back to double track and all that fun stuff back on and then everyone and then a bunch of people stop watching stream why do you not like it just kidding it's dinner time and honestly i'm getting hungry uh i've never seen the end with the coupler on it i've seen it before but i've never seen the actual i've only seen the front of it I remember I got scared to hell. I was crossing the I and O tracks or whatever and looked to my right and there's just a truck sitting right there. It wasn't moving. It was just sitting right there and I was like, ah! It reminds me one time I was going out to see Amtrak at like 3 o'clock in the morning and I crossed over the Newcastle and I looked one way, complete darkness. Looked the other way, complete darkness. And then all of a sudden there's a red flash and my brain being a railroad filmer being like, oh my god, it's an EOT. And then it was like, wait, EOT train, scary! 
But I was like, oh wait, that's the end of the train. Ooh. That was an interesting idea, but then I thought about it for like five seconds and then I was like, wait, that's not a great idea. I'm not going to extend this track down because this connection will connect into this track again over here. This gets to over here. I'm not worried about the trains running in this game. Not right now, at least. I mean, the trains can't, you can't even drive the trains yet. We don't even have that. That's going to take probably several. That's going to take a lot of streams to get started. It's going to be a one. It's going to be a while before we even start it. Probably. And then. And it's going to take many hours to complete. But hey, you'll see an entire drive system be coded on stream. So if you really feel like it, you can sit here and copy it for yourself. Okay. Now we gotta go connect all these tracks. And hopefully it's... Oh, this piece is gonna need several, isn't it? It's gonna need several sections. Yeah, it's gonna need several things. Yeah, I know we were, uh, I was out for the uh, spirit of law enforcement. We went up to Carlisle for it, all the way up there. And um, we were sitting there and then we heard the dispatchers, the LA dispatcher being like telling another train, I think it was an NS train, like, hold on, I gotta figure out what the heck's going on. Because, uh, why won't this extend out? What? There we go. It's your little baby invisible number thing. Um, and, uh, we were sitting there in Carlisle, and they're all confused, and then it started hearing, like, uh, started sounding like uh, someone got hit or something some person was trespassing where there's no crossings there's no railroad crossings anywhere near it you have to walk up to some massive embankment of gravel down at wooden place or whatever like right where the spring grove connection is somewhere in there there's no crossings like nearby where they got hit and the train hit them no idea what happened to them but the line was shut down for hours like hours, like it was like seven hours later, and we still saw trains backed up, blocking road crossings. I'm surprised the news didn't cover it because roads, main roads, were blocked for hours. Wow. Hour. Nice. When we were sitting up there. Luckily, the spirit of law, luckily for us as rail fans, the spirit of law enforcement beat the traffic out of Cincinnati. It was already passed the incident so it could keep going but but it hit the train that got hit the person blocked like all of like wind place or whatever and the way it was but nothing could come in and out of cincinnati for forever well i think one of the tracks was open but like it was only for the ns and like nothing could get through because everything was backed it was terrible i know sharon road on the newcast was blocked for at least six hours then I think my mom was out like visiting a friend or whatever and then like she was like I can't figure out how to get back home all the roads are blocked I'm like no you need to like get on the highway or something and I texted her I was like no 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 you need to get on the highway and get over the tracks you're not gonna find a crossing open it's been backed up like that since like two since like two in the afternoon and it's like six o'clock at night like you, you need to you need to go around like, the news isn't reporting this. They never report anything useful. 
AI cars. They're in the rail fighting game. SR Terminal's too laggy to do anything like that. You know that. If you're playing SR Terminal, you know this game lags more than it should anyways. Partially why I'm making a bigger scale game to see if making it bit bigger scale will help the render or something. If it performs better. Find out. It probably will perform worse, honestly. But we'll see what happens. Fine. Alright, this next section should fit without making two separate pieces. Oh, your family actually saw it. I've never seen someone get hit before. I know people who've seen someone get hit before. I've never even seen a train go into emergency before. I've never heard a D. I've only heard a defect detector give off a defect like um, once, and that was when I was down in Georgia uh, in December. We were at uh, Jamestown, and uh, the train from Cincinnati got hit with a hot wheel or whatever right in front of us we didn't see the defect we didn't see like a smoking wheel or anything but we had to stop and all that good stuff i have it as a youtube short uh, uh, as two shorts or whatever if you want to go look at it go listen to it there's not much to look at well the first video you can see us driving up to the cross well we were driving up to jamestown to watch train and then the train beat us there was already there like oh look train we're like oh look and then the defect truck goes off and it's like you have a defect and we're like oh most of us there had never heard a defect on in person before we're like oh that's new that also complicates things because that means he's got to stop and figure it out while we're trying to watch trains yeah, so we saw him go by, and then I think another train went by, like two other trains went by, and then we saw the uh, northbound out of Waycross to Cincinnati with a Metro Mac on it. I think it was 510 was on it. I can't remember. I think it was 510. So that was cool. Those Metro Macs are really nice looking. It was the first time I've seen one in person, because I always missed them when they would go through Glendo. I remember one time I left Glendo, I was like, alright, there's nothing's coming, I gotta go home, I'm hungry. So I went home and then like 20 minutes later, <laughs> I get a notification, I get sent an image of a Mac coming through. I'm like, oh, what the? Okay. Yay. The main bit of the yard, the actual yard yard bit, I think. Yeah. It's so confusing that it almost looks like the main, but it's not. Um. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh. This will be our maintenance of way stub track here. How long do we want to make this? Because this is 10. So let's make it, uh, well, let's go with 90 first. Now it's 100, right? 100 says long. It's going basically 50. So 150. We'll make it decent like that. You can just park whatever. And it's not six done. It is full scale, but it's not six done. It's actual true full scale. It's like 5.125 or something like that. But Roblox is official units apparently, so I found them the other week and then I was like, yeah. And then I was like, well, yeah, let's make let's try to see what happens when we make a full scale game. So we make a full scale game. Let's row scale models. That's the right terminal models go brr. They still look good at this scale, which is good. But yeah, I'll have to redo the re add the couplers and all that scripts. Sure. Alright, so I don't have a buffer yet. We'll just leave that empty. Uh, gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this connection here. Oh, in real life, it's like that one way. Oh, I could do it that way. Ah, oh, that'd be complicated. Do I want to do it that way? We could do it that way. I 
I'm trying to think. It might be easier to draw this. We have the main that needs to come down. So we have the yard that we have right there. Right, we have that. And then there's this piece, which is our runaround. Yeah. It goes like that. And then let's, uh, we'll get the green. This is our main line. It's going to come in like this or so. And then connect up. And then this is kind of going to become another main. So we'll get another color blue. And we'll have like crossovers and stuff in here. So we have the two different mains. There's the yard lead. Do we want to have another yard track? Uh, something like this. Come off the main, not this. Because this is going to be the other. This will be main two. Connect to main two. And then be main one with crossovers. Do we want something off one? This is how it is in real life in Sharonville. And then we can connect. It would probably be up closer, but it would be like, do we want to connect there and maybe a crossover? So you can come in off either track. Oh, it's so hard to... Okay. It does have a lead, bud. Oh, not that dumb. It does have a lead. There's an entire lead. It's, it's like a half mile. No, it is a mile long. Yeah, it's a mile long. Mile long yard lead. There is a huge one. Whole thing's a yard lead. Yeah. Right. And then you have a yard lead. It's double track. The, the main's double track, so it's fine. And these trains aren't going to be that big. These The, the tracks are only like 2,000 feet at most, so you don't need that much of a yard lead. And plus, fouling the main line is part of railroad operations. So. And it's double track, so it's fine. And you're only gonna hit, really not gonna be that many people. And if you really need to have a long train fouling, you go up that way. But yeah, and this is gonna be longer, so I think. Question is, do I attach the main to this, or you just come in off the main? How is it again on real life? With what I'm basing it off of, kind of sort. Yeah, there's no crossover on this end no crossover it's just well in real life it goes straight into another a yard storage yard but then the storage yard has crossovers yeah, this is so much different i don't want to base it off too much now because i've gone off of branched away from it so much well, yeah, I can always edit. You know, what? I'm gonna put the main in, and we can always edit it as we play, because it's kind of gonna be one of those things where it's you discover the things as you play. So, um, do I want to just do want to curve it twice? It'll be fun to watch the train snake through here. Yeah, let's do that. Then we gotta figure out how wide these tracks have to be. So let's grab these. These two tracks right here as reference points. Because <clears throat> you've gotta connect into there, into that track, basically.
My favorite heritage unit. Uh, none of them because I'm not that good. I don't really have one. And if I had to pick one, I've never seen it before, so I can't judge it. Definitely not at the CSX one. CSX ones are stupid. I mean, some of them are all right, but other ones are just way. Why would you care which one's my favorite anyways? <laughs> it's opinion. Yeah, so we have the main right there. Doing nice curvy stuff. We'll have crossovers over here. The CSX ones are all right. But you definitely can look at some of them though and go like, oh, if only it was a full paint, it would be the coolest thing on the planet. But no, it's got a brand at CSX somehow. We got kind of lucky with the, uh, the Spirit Trio. Yes, I have. But if, there's only a point of doing that if there's actually an industry that the car is supposed to go. In which SR Eternal does have that, actually. For the industries that have the industry system in it. And the control points also have their names over them now. Or at least the ones that have the boxes. For most of them. I mean, they probably only did the heritage units for CSX because everyone was asking over and over and over again. So I was like, ah, oh, PR style, let's do it. And then they finally got some guy up top to convince all the investors to let him do it. Because everything's a money game, unfortunately. Like, one could argue it's about time that CSX does a Steam program, but oh, they, they donated funds to the one guys. Yeah, whatever. I mean, like, run the Steam. My rails to be so What do you mean by my rail system? They're just rails. I mean, not like not row scale. Well, it's because it's not row scale, so the rails don't need to be thick jungus. So the rail parts are scaled according to UP standards for 136 pound rail. That's why they're labeled 136 pound rail. And then the mesh is just filled in inside of the boundary. Just a rail mesh. The rails really just look like this. And it seems to be working fine. Oh, how well. Yeah, that's right. Term was fine and all. It's just that it's laggy and buggy and row scale moments. So I bet you this will be laggy. This probably will be even laggier than that's right. But it's a fun project. It looks like it might be entertaining. I mean, these are basically row scale trains. We're even using the row scale glider format. I just don't have the bottom ones on the here. Damn. But the gliders, just nothing underneath. For now, at least, I might try and change up the glider stuff. Um, we gotta figure out where we're gonna put this control point. Well, that would make it like, uh, real what Sharon builds is. We might, we probably could put another, like, big yard lead. Uh, 
Hello? There. There. There, there. Oh, no. There and there and there. Damn, this is huge. <laughs> I'll extend it out a bit here. Because then the low, the you know, the industry, this signal will be like right here for this track, so it'd be way out. Yeah, we'll put it there. And we'll roll with it. We don't need this though. Put this in. Yeah. And now it doesn't need those. Well, maybe in your opinion it needs it, but I can guarantee you SRI terminal won't get any more basically detail than it already is. Now, whenever Tyler gets around to doing locomotive overhauls for the other ones, like he did the SD40-2s, and he get, tells me I could do, add them in, then I'll add them in, but probably. Otherwise, nothing's really gonna get any more detailed. The problem is, if you want a big train game, you can't have overly detailed stuff. Especially on Roblox. Roblox is very limited. You gotta pick and choose what you got. Now I'd rather have a game with hundreds of miles of track and mid engines, the mid trains, like decent, like not high detail trains. So that means you can play with them more. Not die. Frame. And plus we could also add more features. Like we could make this more like city based. You can have like fire rescue and stuff. We can do all the fun stuff. In this game, we can have planes, we can do a little more. Like what SRI Terminal wants to be, but it's so small, everything just freaks out physics wise. Like we could flat out, you could flat out have this be a train game, and you could flat out have a racetrack and be a race car driver and have races. Or I could theoretically make it so that you have to go and work, like work on the railroad to let you buy a home. If I really wanted to, I doubt I'm going to do that, but like you can have your own house. You could make it a whole city RP with trains in the background, but trains is the main focus of the game. So, I want, I want this game to be more of than just trains, like you could, because driving around in your car and rail fanning is part of the railroad experience. So, like I, so I was, when I was streaming last night when we started and I was placing some of the roads down and I had the cars, I had just a car sitting there and they're like, wait, I thought this was a train game. And I was like, it is. It's just got cars. None of the big gate video games do it. Like, like we'd be playing Railroader all the time lately. And I'm sitting there like, it would just be fun to have like a, I don't know, either an old time, like a Model T or something, or like a horse-drawn buggy and go and chase after these trains. And my like, horse-drawn, but that'd be cool. They should do that. But the roads aren't connected. Like, if you actually pay attention to the roads and stuff, they're not connected anywhere. They just go off into the hill and stop. It also makes it seem like the game is actually more of a world. Like, that's right, terminal you can fall on the train. Like, uh, granted, there's all those bridges and stuff because the game's all curvy and stuff. What's the position of all this? Oh my, yeah, okay. We're way out here. We're basically as big as the... Roskin game is. Already. Wait, yeah. Oh, 20,000. Oh, yeah. <laughs> SRI terminal takes place in like this base plate. The whole game is like in this. We'll see how well this runs. Oh, I could do a New River Junction X. Oh, that would be mean. I was planning on having that diamond there be for the railroad. 
and there'd be industries or something down here but what if i off this off this we put another track and it's like newer junction and it's another one of that railroads like ns or whatever railroad and listen they just have shared track rights up this and doing single main stuff would make it a pain i almost feel like doing that because that would be so crazy chaotic and confusing we're gonna do it <laughs> we're doing it that's a brilliant idea the nice thing is that we could just take these switches here yeah um things to do over the looks of engines and these engines look mighty fine already i mean this is a row scale model and it looks just fine it's got the doors i mean we're not gonna have like interactable stuff but you don't need that we don't need like you're gonna turn the engine on we don't need to open a door with a whole engine compartment just to turn it on once or whatever in your game well turn it on maybe turn it off if you're really doing a lot of work or whatever and then have like everything else that work you gotta have the things you're gonna do and then if we have the compute resources available then we can come in oh i wonder because these trains should never need to come into this yard. I should put this switch between them. So that trains on this can come up and into the yard and run around the yard if it needs. If, if there's a train coming here. Ooh. Decisions. Because these trains should never go in this yard. Yeah, we're doing that. We're doing a bit of funny. Doing a New River Junction X248 kind of deal. Because 248's got the branch for this railroad going that way, but we're going to have... So he's... Uh, yes, a different subdivision. Yes. We're going places. Making it complicated without making it overly complicated. And because I mean, the more rail lines that I put in, the more I have to, you know, sit here and build all of them. At least some of it. But, and I, which I probably won't be building to start out with. But, it's the switches there. And then if, uh, heck, you know, by the time I come and actually build it, this actually could be the same railroad as this or whatever. But the junction is there. And then with you come in here. What's this model? Oh, it's that switch, that switch. Oh, we gotta undo that. There we go. Yeah, this, so, since I'm basically thinking of this as CSX, this right here, including all of this, that's main one. And then main two ends here at this control point. That's yard limits. And then they connect back way up there. There's a control point at the other end of that yellow line. And then that's the yard leaves with main one there. And then main one, main two, and going after the diamond. And then, let's say there's a train coming either from that so this is this my idea right now is this is another railroad than this but at that railroad like ns right here ns and that going across the diamond is ns and they have a connection and so they say a train's going this way like this which they're this railroad is never going to interact with this yard basically um they're going to go this way like there's a train line through here but you still want to get your traffic through you can um flip this switch if they're on this track or on this track you don't flip the switch and you put them in and they go in through the yard if there's something going on in the yard they just take the bypass or however they want to go they can 
route through the yard, however you do it, and then come up, and then they can lead each other through here. Because I've seen it happen before, I'll show you in real life what happened. Oh, hi, I know. So basically, we were rail fanning. I was going to meet my friend at uh, the Sugar Shack here, the ice cream place. You know, you just sit here. This is 250. CJ 250 or whatever. This, whatever it's called. It's Mopus 250. And then um, I missed the train. I was in traffic that was stopped by the train. I was back here, but I could see it. And he was sitting here. He was like, yo, that power is cool. It had a bunch of EMD or whatever on it. Um, and so we turned around. He pulled out and I found a way to turn around. Um, and we went back out to Reading Road here. That's not Reading Road. That is. Wait, no, it's not. That's Reading Road. Okay. That's a lot further. We took that, paralleling the tracks. And then it went through. We heard on the radio as we were going. That he was going, the train that he saw and we're chasing now. Goes, went into the yard. Went into Sharon Yard here. And there was a train, I think it was 179, sitting on the bypass here. It was blocking the main. So they routed through the yard. This is the only reason why we chased, we was able to chase it. Because he was going only 15, 20 miles an hour through the yard. Snaking through here. Because he had no work, but he was snaking through. And um, we drove, because most of this road is, basically this road is 35, 25, like 25 through here, and then like 35 back there. But uh, we came through, and we were we were on this straightaway, and we saw the gates going down, the engines going across the road. So we took this road, so the engines are still creeping through here. We took this road up here, went all the way. On to 275 here, off the highway, which he, he was still down around there. So we went over the tracks, on to 75, got on to 75, drove up this, past Entertainment Junction, wherever it is. No, it's not there. Is that it? No, that's not it. Wait, how far did we go? Did I pass it? Yeah, there it is. Entertainment Junction right there. We got off at Entertainment Junction, which is Tyler Zill Road. Right, Junction. As we took the road, went down the hill, and then there's Tylerville Road from uh, SRI Terminal, and we sat here. And when we got here, we turned and looked, and there's just an NS Grain train just sitting right there. And we're like, oh, hi. We saw him pull, we saw um, 376. I think we saw another train as well, and then we saw the train. I think it was like 170 that we were chasing, and then he, he wound his way. He got through the yard and picked up speed and came through eventually. But yeah, so you can dodge it. Big time map. Yeah, this is a big map expansion, but it's not really expansion. It's just making the game so far. I guess you could call it an expansion. So then we have the MOW tracking here, or whatever, the storage track. Theoretically, I could add another switch and just have more, but eh, we'll leave that open. There'll probably be, like, maintenance roads and stuff in here, but we got the main line here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a nice ride along. No, not run. Okay, well, the train moves, so that's good. Not this map? This is a completely different other game. The whole point of these live streams is uh, we're making a game from scratch together. Nah, I'm not messing with that. I'm not messing with Lachlan. That's too far gone. In order to fix Lachlan, I have to fix everything else. And at that point, like I have tracks for technically rebuilt, but the problem is, is adding it in, and there's no scenery in this. So yeah, it's too much of a deal. Working on this right now. If anything, I'd make a uh, SRI two SRI Terminal 2.0 and just remake the entire thing from scratch. But right now, we're testing full scale. That's what this project is. This should work. I, I, I'm just testing it to make sure. It also gives me a break from laying all the track. Ah, uh, British. Ah, uh, but then I don't know anything about Britain and... Ah. Uh, how they work. So... You got your knowledge for Britain. And probably Europe too. Whereas I have no idea. I just know that they have way better passenger infrastructure.
the one thing I'm not liking is the view distance. It might be because studio, I'm running it in studio. The game tends to games to tend to perform way worse when you're in studio. So and I'm still getting 60 FPS, but I do have a nice machine, so Yeah, there's our yellow mile. Maybe time. Oh, not Spotify. I want the clock. Stopwatch, please. Go do a calculation. A road. We'll add more roads in here somewhere. Probably industries. You know, the fun thing about making pretty much like the whole point idea right now, at least. I don't know if it's going to last this way, but we're going to make like at least most of this game on live streams. And then we can have the chat decide road names or town names or yard names or whatever. Subdivision names. And also options. Because like the buildings at the uh, diamond and stuff, like where the park and the interlocking was because people in chat were saying where they wanted stuff to go. I was like, eh, okay. Let's see. Eventually, we should meet the uh, other train. No, I'm not messing with correct defect detector voices. It, it took us all the way. It took me all the way from the original A and G game. To um, when I added the ones into SRI terminal that talk to get well the newer ones or whatever to talk to get audio that's that good so I'm just gonna leave it like that unless someone gives me and no one's provided I've been like sure if you want to provide me audio samples for these things but no one provided me usable audio so I'm not really worried about it I like the ones that we have and we don't really need multiple voices I mean another option is, is to have people themselves make their own custom ones the problem is when you have one zero zero and then I'm calculating how fast we were going uh, oh nine you're going on average about 27 miles an hour is how fast we're going an average roughly 27 25 miles an hour okay If that yellow bit was... Oh, wow. That other train's way out there. Wait, what? Did it get stuck or something? We should have passed it by now. Where is it? Oh, man. This camera's so slow. Is it stuck? It looks like it's stuck. Oh, it's probably because I'm so far away physics-wise. Oh, that will help. Uh, physics that meant, uh, fixed. That will help our physics. Does that move again? No. But let's, let's go. Oh, it's probably doesn't. Probably because I'm doing it while playing. We need to fix that. Now, if you have a row scale game, go to your workspace properties, physics stepping, and hit fixed. That will help your train be much more accurate. And not so blowy up. I, I'm sure you have good samples, but the problem is your samples have to be the right samples. You have to have every single possible thing that that defect detector, the defect detector can say for any location and any defect or as many defects as you can have, which honestly, I only have hot wheel and dragging equipment, I think. You also have to, um, there's no audio, there's no, like, distortion, or as less distortion as possible, no audio, no, like, wind, no car noises, no, like, most horn samples that people are like, oh, I've got great samples, and they gave it to me, and like, no, this isn't usable. It's like, no, it's gotta be as perfect, 
clean sample as possible because otherwise you'll hear it. I mean, if it sounds a little distorted because it is a radio, then that's fine. You don't want to be too clean, but especially with the radio stuff, but the horn stuff. Horn and bell, bell audio especially. Like you don't want to hear the engine. Let's go. Um, all right, so we've got that. We probably should build the rest of this yard. Um, hello. Um, we're gonna click this reflect. in here because that's a really long engine service facility if it's really up there uh we'll go ahead and put it in like right in here i think roughly Roblox being Roblox. Why? This has the 10, yeah? Yes. All right. Cool. So, uh, let's. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go check out this right turn uh, again. Uh, find Sharonville on Google Maps. Um, because the engine facility is way out there, which is partially because all the tracks are ripped out. They're very hard to come by, but if you ever come across a Sharonville back in the Conrail or even the Penn Central days, <laughs> Sharonville was bopping. It used to be a hump yard. That's why there's so much empty space. Everything's been torn up. Okay, we're gonna kind of do a uh, what we've been doing, in which we're gonna take this. Oh, I am well aware that those engines have wrong horns, and I just don't care. That's why they have wrong ones. One of them has the right horn because someone sent it to me. While I was... The key is they gave it to me while I was working on them. And getting horn files or whatever, but, you know, almost everything in SRI Terminal is inaccurate. And since you're around Ohio and Cincinnati, you should know that. That everything is inaccurate. Huh. <laughs> so, yeah. Everything's inaccurate in that game. And I don't care about so-and-so having a certain horn. It doesn't matter.
I mean, those models aren't even C6Ms. My disc, join the Discord. You will see, you'll see it. Join the game's Discord. And it's also the same thing as my Roblox username. Uh, well, that's one nice thing about Discord switching over to the usernames. I don't have to give off the dumb numbers, but um, everyone was so mad that you couldn't just change it. Let's see. Yeah, let's do this. Um, <laughs> amazing samples, but we'll we'll see if it's uh, uh, one thing is I'm not gonna edit them, so they've got to be formatted properly already. I'm not gonna sit around and edit it before you go and sending me stuff. I'm not gonna sit around and edit it. There's no way. I don't have the time for that, nor the patience. That's why there I don't have many horn stuff because I don't sit around and edit it. So half of it's ripped from run eight. <laughs> Cause it's already in a format I can use, so that's fine. Ah, uh, you definitely did something. Now, did I ban you? Probably not. Because I'm normally very lax on banning, but... Obviously, you did something. You made someone upset. Uh, I mean, one way to find me is... Through the official uh, Rose Scale Discord. I'm in there. And then there's also... Uh, I'm in other ones, like the... NEC Discord. The... Uh, the the, the the dev form community server there's plenty of ways to find me and also my username's the same thing as my roblox username you need to find me you can find me but how much do you care and just because you send me an audio file doesn't mean it's gonna go in the game so you know I don't care if you're underage or not. Half the people who are 18 in the train community act like they're underage, so I don't really care. It's Discord that cares, and they should be the one enforcing it. Everyone does all these witch hunts, and it's like... All I have to do is say so-and-so is under 13 and fake some proof. It's really not hard to fake proof. Like, people send pictures of DMs. I can sit here... If I really wanted to, I could sit here on a live stream and fake a DM with a random person and just be like, alright, and that's gonna look hella real. It's really not hard. You just any photo editing software, you can do it online too. Should you be doing that? No, you shouldn't. Because if you get caught, then no one's going to ever trust you ever again. But just because you have a screenshot of someone doing something doesn't mean they're doing it. SRI terminal supports single part, th two part, three part, and run eight horn format. Run eight horn format works the best because it's just one audio file. Actually, I don't think it supports the single anymore, which would technically single it would be run eight format. But the single, like original one, I don't think it supports anymore. It used to. Yeah. But yeah, no, nowadays it's Yeah, run eight works the best. A lot of the horn sounds are just ripped off run eight. Which I can guarantee that the horn sounds from run eight that people upload and make are act are just ripped off random youtube videos because i've seen it I've seen the file data and all that on some of them and they don't clear the file data so it says the youtube video's name and the, the author or whatever's property <laughs> and you're like oh yeah okay so if you're a run eight horn creator and you want a certain horn file gone i'll take it down but you know I haven't heard a single complaint from anybody, so, you know. You also need proof that you're the owner of said file, so. I'm not going to add a turntable. That's too much work.
can I give you admin? The Discord link is on SI Turtles game page. No. Guess what? There is no admin to give you anyway. Well, there is, but there isn't. Not there is no fly tool. No one can fly. If someone is flying, they are exploiting. And then you should report them to dis to Roblox so they can be banned from Roblox in general. But so there's really no point in being like, because well, right. I can't fly in the game either. Now, there is a quasi-admin, but that's just like F3X can be used in any server, and I'd be stupid to give random people that. Not even my friends have it. Just the devs. And those are the really trusted people. You see, all these, like, groups have had it that have had issues with leaking and stuff <laughs> well wow, the exploit leaks you can't do anything about and so i don't care about them i don't worry about them like green ash was leaked or whatever it's somewhere somewhere on roblox and then i responded to it, it was like all right here have a copy of the map for free it doesn't matter roblox is very insecure if you're playing if you're editing on roblox Yeah, F3, yeah, that was the browsers. F3X and private servers, and then you can, if you're the owner of a private server, you can do the exclamation mark PRO, the pro command for a programmer. Completely free, assuming you pay for a private server. It's it's free, it's included in a private sub server subscription, basically. Now, the reason that is, is because one you're already paying for a vip server that means you're paying monthly and it's not really a payment thing it's because people in public servers are horrible in general a and g i made it so that you can if you paid money you could use it in any one but then of course that causes issues and it's like you know i don't do it because the one last thing that i want to do is moderate the game that's why i make game with no rules the only rules are roblox terms of service and roblox guidelines or whatever so and if you have someone breaking those you report them to roblox because if roblox gives a damn they'll ban them or deal with them or whatever which mostly they don't care but it'd be easier just to copy this but yeah and then if you have a private group that's running on a private server or something on the game then you can have your own rules and so then you know but have i banned people from this? i've I feel like at one point there's people banned from SI Terminal, but I don't think that exists. I think I deleted it. The code that does that. This yard is about to be huge. How long is this? 100. 200. 300. That sounds reasonable. No, no, no. We're gonna do with the 400, I think. Let's go grab an engine. Where's my train? How big? Like, actually, like, part one thing is like we're building something. You're like, okay, that looks big enough, but then you gotta get an engine in there. See how much actually fits in here. Let's make it 500 blocks.
There we go. Let's get the other end of this. Lovely stub end. And then, ooh, it's almost six o'clock. Okay. And we've been streaming for like four hours yet. Yeah? So three and a half. Okay. I'm probably going to finish up these engine tracks and call it a stream here. So I might start streaming later on. If I start working again later on tonight, then I'll probably I'll boot up to stream again. But I don't think I will. Let's do a few hours of work each day. Not every day, but. This, this lines up, right? Uh-oh. It doesn't. No. Oops. I don't know how exactly that pulled that off. But, uh, we'll line it up like this. And then... We'll just extend this bit in like that. Oh, it's probably because there's a another ten section in there. Oh, right. okay. So and we'll just come in here like that. And then we'll just uh, scale the rail in. No, not like like that, basically. And then we'll just line this up with that rail, and then we're good. That just line up perfect. All right, cool. And now we can connect with the rest of this yard and then the yard will basically be done track wise until we make industries and play game and then we understand of how much I messed up that's how small they are which I the yards gonna feel real small at the beginning I think because there's not gonna be any other yards and everything's gonna be based on here since we have a yard probably should build some industries somewhere and then and then the next step would be making the trains actually drivable. another test train on this track oh, get rid of the other one because this will crash into it we can have a race we'll see who wins 
I bet you this one's gonna win. Because it doesn't have all the curves that that one does. It's funny the amount of times I've used a SD40 and a Autorack as a test train. Yeah, so if you're watching this stream, I'm basically just going to run these en this engine through the yard. We'll ride this engine through the yard. And then I'm going to end it there. So if you got other things to do, then go ahead and do it. They're not going to miss anything. Well, I bet you it does. It's probably why it's numbered that. Probably because Ben told Tyler when they were building the numbers because Ben was in charge of finding out the number series more or less. The SD40 2s. Well, Ben and some other railroad fans of his who know a heck of a lot. They made all these spreadsheets, compensated them and everything. So there's time and effort. It's quite the, quite the list. Of like detail reference, like what kind of plows each ser number series has. Not engine specific, but like series. Like, although Tyler is like, all right, after the Jeeps and the SD40s, I'm not doing series specific by railroads. I'm not doing that. It's too much work. I'm like, yeah. I, was, I thought you were crazy just for just attempting it. All right, well, it looks like this worked. So, heck yeah. And the yard train ran one by a cab length. Not a cab length, but you know, a nose length. All right, there we go. I'm going to publish this. All right, I'm ending the stream most. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Uh